We're here this morning in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, to kick off the 30th anniversary of the Milken Educator Awards. And inside this school is an outstanding teacher who is about to receive the surprise of a lifetime. While there's much to be excited about, for the 2016-2017 school year, a mission remains the same. Great schools close to where all of our children live so that zip codes are not defining destiny for our young people. We have an amazing staff here. We have amazing teachers. We have amazing volunteers. We have an amazing administrative team here. Let's say thank you to them at the top of our lungs. When I count three, let's all say Thank you. One, two, three. While our country does so many things well, one thing we don't do well enough, and that is honor, celebrate, and recognize the good work that the talented teachers and staff does in this school, in this district, and across the nation. And that is why many years ago, before you were born, I created an initiative called the Milken Educator Awards. And it says in a very public way that greatness in education should be recognized too. It gives me great pleasure to present the Milken Educator Award to a truly outstanding teacher. And that teacher is Jada Puglisi. She truly did not know this was going to happen. We could see by her reaction on the side. And the thing that was really wonderful is in all the things that she received, including the dinero, she received your hugs and your applause. And really, that's all teachers really want, is they want to love, they want to be loved as much as they love you. Before I sit down, I just want to tell you why I love coming to Jackson School. When I look at the rest of this room, I see so many different faces, so many different cultures, so many different languages, so many different ethnicities and races. It is what this city and what this country should be all about. I just want you to know, if you're sitting out there, I was just like you. I grew up in South Philly, not too far from here. Both of my parents did not graduate from high school. I was actually the first in my family to graduate from high school and I was the first in my family to graduate from college. So you can change your life and you can change everything. Take your education seriously. When you get older, things like this can happen to you.